Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Lynette with The Skin Candy. Today we are going to be doing our February Gemstone Burst Stone Soap. The Burst Stone for February is Amethyst and it happens to be one of my daughter's birthday months for in February. So we're making this in honor of her. She got to choose the fragrance and the colors and even the design. So we have a lot to do today. So we are going to just get into it and start making our soap. This is going to be a four layer soap. We're going to be doing four different shades of amethyst. This is our amethyst blend. You can see that it's kind of dark. We actually blended it with two different colors of mica. We are going to be coloring it with grape knee high. And we also used satin gray pillowcase, both by Mad Micas. Everything we've used here today, our stick blender and our micas and fragrances will be linked down in the um, comments or the box below. Please make sure that you comment, subscribe, and like to our videos. We love to hear comments. Um, would like to know how we're doing, what you guys would like to see, maybe what you guys would like to see less of, a little more of, and just whatever good positive comments you guys can send our way. So the fragrance we're going to be using is actually called Blackened Amethyst. Sorry, I forgot my bottle. And this is by Nature's Garden. And there will also be a link to that to take you directly to that as well. This is a, it's kind of a florally scent, but it does have a little bit of sweet notes to it, kind of like candy notes, which is perfect because that's exactly the scent that my daughter was going for when she was looking at a fragrance. For the top, of course, we're going to do our signature gems which we have colored also, I don't know if you can see that, colored also with the um, dark purple micas. And then we're also going to be using titanium dioxide in between the layers just to lighten them up. So we'll start with our darkest layer first and build up. And then on the white layer, we're just gonna scoop it into the middle and then add our amethyst colored jewels, maybe add a little bit of glitter We'll see where we are from there. So with our oils, I've already put my oils and melted them down. This is a combination of shea, cocoa, palm kernel oil, olive oil and coconut oil, castor oil. Okay, and we're right at the degrees that I want. What I'll be doing is I'm going to be splitting each batch off and mixing them separately because florals do tend to accelerate and I'm trying to avoid that. So um, I want it to accelerate a little bit, but I don't want to accelerate it too much that if I was to mix it all together, that it would kind of go thick and I wouldn't be able to layer like I want. So we are going to be off to the side measuring out our oils and lye together. So... I've already mixed this up, so let's just get going.
Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of really dark, but it has morphed into a gray. And I don't know if that is the colorant or if that is, because the colorant's pretty purple, but it might be the reaction to the fragrance oil. I'm hoping it goes back to the purple. We're just gonna keep working with it. And also it actually has not really thickened it up a lot, so, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the rest of my fragrance oil to my oils right here and just keep going since it looks like we have some time to work with it. Thank you. 